You may be uh, seeing a big problem at your local grocery store. Look at that. Empty shelves left and right. Finding your favorite foods a lot tougher right now. NBC 10's Lucy Bustamante in the newsroom right now. Lucy, what is the reason for these shortages? We still see them. A one word, Omicron, and a couple of other factors that we're going to get into, Erin. But if you're having a tough time finding what you like on the shelf in the grocery store, blame it on this variant. The shortages are widespread, impacting everything from meat to vegetables, packaged goods like cereal and the deliveries are taking a lot longer because of the staffing shortages related to that. So when the deliveries do get there, well, there aren't enough workers to receive them and unload the packaging at the stores. So shoppers are also frustrated that they cannot find what they want. And that means going on a scavenger hunt to multiple stores. I actually came here to get fish, but then the fish hadn't been delivered. The only milk I can get were two tiny bottles of um, fat free. So my my kids will not be happy about that. We're headed to another store right now to see if they have more stuff. The Omicron variant surge also means more work for stores like more deep cleaning, a return to masking, social distancing, just as more employees cannot work. So this COVID surge really putting workers in testing lines rather than in the stores. Look at this. The food industry, the executives say that more people called out sick in the past two weeks than they did in all of 2020. That is a sobering statistic there. Winter storms, that also didn't help. Disrupt, dis disrupted the supply chain. For example, the 20-plus hour traffic jam that we saw last week on I-95 near Stafford, Virginia, paralyzed a fair number of grocery delivery semi-trucks. And the experts are truly divided on how long this is supposed to last. Some say it's already getting better. Others say that we're going to have to wait until the latest surge hits the Midwest where the meat gets packaged. And companies like Kellogg's and General Mills are based out there and then see how things shake out. In the newsroom, Lucy Bustamante, NBC 10 News.